Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Symphonics channel. Today we're building the high-grade Universal Century, the premium Bandai uh, Gundam Pixie. So, it's one of my favorite side uh, mobile suits, and it finally got to the uh, uh, HG, and so I decided to buy it. And if you watched my unboxing video before, I bought it from uh, Robo City, and yeah, and basically. Let's look at it. So the box art is uh, the Pixie uh, Slash. It's, really, it's actually one of the pretty signature movements. The, uh, the, the Slash. And now let's look at the runners. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Four packages and with a really lame instruction book. As I just, like, you know, I... Yeah, I, I've been saying this a long time, like, I wish, like, premium and I deserve a, you know, a pretty normal instruction book, but in the end, it doesn't have anything. Cool. Let's just quickly flick through it, you know. Alright. So. Yep. Done. The flick through is done. So now let's open up the packages. Well, this time the runner is actually not taking too long to open it, so let's take a look at it. So first we got some polycaps. Let's get out of the way. Then we have a C2 runner. It's from the ground type gym. So uh, this, so the Gundam Pixie actually uses some part from the uh, 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 ground type gym. Uh, pretty surprising. I thought it would be the revived version uh, RX-78. Then we got a B4 runner. Wow, up to B4, that's very good. Uh, Gundam Pixie is a new part, so as we can see, we can see the signature pistol, uh, some hand part here, some the torso part, and some thrust here as well. Then we got this B3 part. The B3 part, exactly the same like the uh, B4 runner, except um, added like the hands here. Yep. Then we got a C1 runner. This is from the ground type uh, gym runner. So we got some torso, some machine guns, some hand options, some uh, shield. But I think most of the bar is not going to be used. We have a B1 runner from. Uh, oh, it's actually it's actually a new runner. Uh, so as you can see, we can we got some torso part. Um, we got some legs part, we got some uh, arms part here, we got a waist part here as well. Then we got flip here, uh, we got a, what's, which part is that? Uh, a free runner, uh, I believe it's torso, the head, um, the legs as well, some feet, uh, some shoulder, uh, the antenna, and yep. We got a B2 runner, exactly the same like the B1 runner, except it's just a couple parts, uh, doesn't duplicate. Uh, then we got a we got ourselves an A1 runner. This is where the uh, beam saber evac parts are, the slashing evac and the normal beam saber evac. It also have the back waist, the torso, uh, the waist, and I believe this is the our uh, armor piece here as well. Then the last one. This is the A2 runner. The A2 runner, uh, basically exactly the same like the A3 runner, but except it's just, um, I think it's just the the extra part is just uh, the the inner head, head, and in um, and that, and I don't think there's actually much new. Then we have two stickers. First, we have. Uh, I don't know this the sticker is gonna be acceptable or not, so I'm not just I'm not gonna judge it. Then we have a really signature, uh, you know, the the heart and uh, the arrow that slides through the heart on the left shoulder that you need to put it on later. Anyways, I will see you guys at the review.
Hello everyone and welcome back to the review of the Gundam Pixie and this is the finishing of the whole Gunpla. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't take me too long to build this since um, one, it doesn't have that uh, much you know, uh, equipment or ac uh, accessories so which is why I actually took like what 10 or 11 hours to finish the whole thing plus the panel lighting and this time it uses some parts uh, from the uh, GM ground type as I mentioned at the uh, runner part and the overall the overall it give the overall color separation is doing quite a good job and it actually kind of surprises me but except the except the part here uh, is stickers well that's fine with it uh, at, at least it's not loose stickers uh, which is I'm fine with it as long as it's not uh, any loose stickers and um, I I especially like the logo here. Actually, it kind of shows the pilot's you know speciality, and you know uh, I'm gonna jump to the review now. So first, let's look at the head. So the head, as usual, uh, the side the side of the head here is actually a uh, gray sticker, but uh, it's fine. It's not losing. It's not gonna be uh, really you know you know really bad. You know those crumped up stickers. It's not it's not one of them but uh you know the head can move up move down and move to the move to the uh, move 360 as well pretty easy on moving around and but uh i do need to mention that if you don't do any panel lining on the head it's kind of hard to see the details on it so i will recommend you to do some panel lining okay let's talk about the hand the hand uh overall i i extremely like the color beam of the hands i mean the arms sorry because um you know i I rarely seen like this mobile suit design that have us, uh, you know, two or three colors on the whole arm. But this time, I I actually feel like it's pretty colorful this time. You know, we got some dark purple. This is kind of like dark purple. We got some gray parts, some uh, blue parts, white parts as well. Overall, the balancing is very good. Uh, so it can lift up ninety as usual. Uh, the whole the whole arm can move to the front pretty great. It's actually moving to the front pretty great. Um, and then you can bend up pretty well like this and also uh, it can move around like this the, the hand down here is, can move around top of the arms can spin around as well uh, and I need to mention the back here is uh, is a piece of sticker but you know it's, it's, it's fine because it's not doing any loose and the whole shoulder no backpack interruption so it can move around 360 Alright, now let's talk about the chest. The chest here, uh, it have an individual joint in there so you can, you know, the whole the whole gumpler can, you know, bend down for a bit and also it can move, you know, side to side for about 40 degrees for side to side for 40 degrees and <clears throat> the color separation on it is very good except the center here, the purple part here is a sticker but you know I'm fine with it because you know I honestly can't think of a solution that have any color separation on an XG. But overall, the color separation doing a very good job. Um, so even the part here is not stickers; it's actually a white piece, uh, white part that snap on it. I am really happy about the chest uh, color separation. And you know, turn around to the backpack. The backpack is just you know very simple, uh, two piece snap together, and and then uh, add two thrusters on it. And let me remind you, you might want to do some panel lining there because it actually have some some details there. So if you don't panel line, I don't think you can see those clearly, especially on a really, you know, dark color. All right, let's talk a bit about the waist. The waist here, uh, you know, as usual, HG stuff, it can flip up, but this time, not 90 degrees only. It can flip all the way up to 180. That's pretty impressive, actually. And... Um, side of the the side skirt here can be moved like lift up slightly and it also have a beam dagger is it dagger is it the beam daggers here and i'll talk about the beam daggers later and then at the back here is uh, i didn't put any piece on it because uh, i would like to remind you that um on this gun plot you have two parts that you can put in the um action base you can either put it at the bottom as usual or you can choose to you know have a little piece here that you can pluck it off from the back ways and then you put it and then you can uh, use that as a joint and I'll just snap it back on but may I remind you it's really hard to take this take this part off so please be careful you don't want to break the joint in it and also we got two spot here for to put the uh, the beam pistol on later and I'll show you how to all right let's talk about the legs movement so you know move to the back 
because his HG so really really is not gonna move to the back and then kick to the front more than I assume it's actually more than 90 degrees so it, you get some good movement there uh, to the side to the side as I just said the side skirt didn't really move too like couldn't really move too much so you can't really kick to the side for 90 but the whole like gosh that is some movement there you can all the way kick it up back to the backpack I assume you can make some good poses with it and the feet is an individual joint here you can move around 360 and you can move up and down and also the feet down here is actually you can actually move up like this, move up and move down. So it creates a lot of poses, and the skirt armor here slightly movable as well. And the gray part here is a sticker, but uh, I'm fine with it. As I just said, I'm fine with stickers as long as it's not loose stickers. And you know, um, it can turn, and the whole like can turn around 360 as well. So it's pretty good. All the overall movement on the gun is actually pretty pretty good and you can create a lot of poses with it. So now we get a look at the pistol uh, the pistol part. Uh, you might ask uh, why it looks so funny like why the gun and the handle is separated. So let me explain it. I was pretty surprised when I was building it as well. So when I was building a gun plus so the so the hand only came with a handle and then the gun here uh, is separatable that you can pluck it on. If you want to pluck it on you can you know just simply stamp on it and then you put it and then you put it on the Gunpla to you know kind of showing the pose and or you can put it on a normal one and then you can store it on the backpack I mean <laughs> not the backpack store it on the back waist and also the part here the part down here you, you see is a handle right you can actually snip it off and then you can put on the beam the beam dagger on it which is a pretty cool feature though but I I honestly think this pass swapping is Pretty reasonable. We, uh, no, it's not pretty. It's I don't. I don't really. I'm not really sure why. Uh, need to be swapped the guns around. I thought it would be just you know, use the gun and then you're just using those hands to kind of adjusting the pose. But this time, they give us a lot of things to adjust. But I guess uh, I'm fine with it. Now let's take a quick look on the second uh, accessory. So we got a beam dagger we got uh, this beam slashing effect and a normal beams uh, dagger effect so you know simply you just want them around like this it's really simple just very simple like this I, I honestly think the the beam slashing effect is actually a very cool thing to include in the kit which is a major reason why I bought this <laughs> uh, other than uh, I like the design uh, the other reason that I bought this is because I when I first saw the you know beam slashing event I was like yeah I'm gonna bind it for sure and oh I dropped it and if you want to put it put the you know put the dagger back on the mobile shoot it's very simple you just basically as I mentioned the side skirt here uh, all you have to do you know you just up all you have to do is just put it back on you know just push it down and then it will be back on and I forgot to mention that uh, you can put the guns back, I mean the pistol on the waist, you just simply snap it on like this and then you know, it's just each side have one of them, just like usual and then you know, all you have to do is just look at the joint and then put it on but uh, once again, remind you, uh, PS materials PS materials is gonna be very very soft if you keep pulling it out, push it back again, eventually it will cause you know some white lines and then you can and then you know it eventually will damage the part. So I suggest you know not to plug it in or pull it out for too much time. So this is pretty much the end of the whole review and I hope you guys like this video. Uh, overall though I really like this mobile suit design and I actually think the color separation is doing very good job. It's actually one of those uh, pretty good color separation on a premium Bandai. Plus, like, you know, half of those runners are actually new, <laughs> not like reused, like the other, like, okay, you know what I mean, like, just use it a lot of runner. And this time, the color separation is doing a very good job, and I'm really happy about it. And, you know, I definitely recommend you to have it if you have it, if you get your hands on it, because I definitely think the beam slashing effect is the reason why you should buy it. And,. I really like it. I just very liking it. And you know, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys like this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel as well for more gunplay reviews. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.